Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unlock the Galaxy Nexus's bootloader. So this is going to allow you to root it and install Clockwork Mod if you so choose, but definitely it will allow you to root your uh, Galaxy Nexus. You will need to make sure you have the SDK tools installed before you do this video. So go ahead and make sure you follow the video I will link to in the description to install the SDK tools. So first, follow that video and then come back to this video and follow this one. This, is a, this will be the first step to your rooting process. And then once you're done with this video, click on the other link in the description of the video and it will take you to the how to root video after you unlock your bootloader. I also want to make a side note that this unlocking your bootloader will wipe your data and factory reset your phone. So make sure you back up everything, your pictures, contacts, apps, games, messages, everything, even on your uh, storage as well. So make sure you back up everything. So you're first going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this uh, site, how to unlock the Galaxy Nexus bootloader. Scroll down. You're going to need to first ensure you have the drivers installed on your PC. So click on this Samsung driver. It might take you to Samsung's website. Click on software and then click on the driver right here. So right there, click on that. And once you have your drivers installed, now go ahead and obviously you have the SDK. You're going to need to download this fast boot file. So download this fast boot file. It will uh, show up like this, fastboot.exe. Keep it and let it uh, download. It shouldn't take long, as you can see. And once that fastboot.exe is downloaded, go to your downloads folder. So as you can see, fastboot.exe, right click on it and hit copy. So copy fastboot.exe. Now go to your C drive where I know you have that, um, basically your SDK, and go to your Android SDK folder. Double click on it, go to your platform tools folder, double click on that, right click, and hit paste. And you should, I'm going to just hit copy and replace since I don't need the one that's in there right now. So I'm just going to copy and replace this one and I should be ready to go. So make sure you have the fastboot.exe in the platform tools folder. And once you're done getting that fastboot exe file there, you're going to need to turn on USB debugging. So go to your Galaxy Nexus and press menu or go to the settings and then go to developer options. Scroll down, go to developer options. I know this is a Nexus S 4G, but bear with me guys. Um, and make sure USB debugging is checked up at the top. So ensure USB debugging is checked up at the top and you now you can go ahead and plug your uh, Galaxy Nexus into your PC. So go ahead and just plug it on into your PC. And once you have USB debugging checked, go into your uh, Android SDK folder. So go to the C drive, go to Android SDK, and go to the platform tools folder. And once you're there, uh, hold shift on your keyboard, right click, and hit uh, open command window here. So shift, right click, open command window. What that's gonna do is open a command prompt and it'll already be pointing to your Android SDK platform tools folder. And that's it. So once you have it pointing there, you are uh, ready to go. Now just type ADB reboot bootloader. So. Ensure that you have USB debugging and checked. Ensure that you have your phone plugged into your PC and you're ready to go. So ADB reboot bootloader, hit enter, and it should reboot your Galaxy Nexus into the bootloader screen. What that bootloader screen is going to look like is this right here. It should say start. This is what the bootloader screen looks like. Okay, and now what you're gonna need to type in is fast boot. OEM unlock. So once you're in the bootloader, type fastboot OEM unlock. Hit enter. It's going to show you this screen now. Uh, pay attention. So it's going to show you this screen right here. Press the volume up button to get to yes and press the power button to select it. So make sure you press the power button to unlock it. And once you select yes, your bootloader should now be unlocked. As you can see, it should look like this should say unlocked right there. 
and choose start your phone and it's going to factory reset itself and reboot. So keep that in mind, it'll do a factory reset and then reboot your phone. So that's it, your, ne your Galaxy Nexus is now unlocked and you're ready to root your phone. Uh, so hit the start button, reboot your phone, and it'll take a little longer to reboot, so be patient with it. Don't pull the battery, just be patient with it while it reboots. And now you should have an unlocked Galaxy Nexus. So once you're done there, click on the link in the description of the video to go to my how to root video so you can get everything rooted and ready to go. If you do have any problems, run into anything at all, please leave a comment on the video, ask me any question you want. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.